Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a proportional crop uh, using GIMP. Uh, and you'll see here I have an image open in GIMP and this is the image that we're going to be cropping. Now I got this image from pexels.com and I will include the link in the description so that uh, we can give them credit for using the image. Uh, but let's just say that I was making a slideshow or maybe a, a banner on a home page of a website and I really like this bridge in this image. However, you can see that the image is not oriented in the proper direction. It's large enough though that we could get a 1920 pixel wide by let's say 900 pixels high. We could get a slide out of it or an image out of it that may be uh, large enough to use on a web page. However, we have this issue uh, that the image isn't wider than it is tall. Now we know that we want the image to be 1920 pixels wide and 900 pixels tall but what you'll notice is if I open up the image and I just open up the scale window to see how big it is right now you'll see that it's only 1333 pixels wide. Now if I was going to scale this up to 1920 from 1333 then you know I'd have to set up a a cross multiplication uh, proportion <laughs> math formula to figure out how tall I wanted to crop this. However, if you're using GIMP, it's very easy to do and you don't have to do all of that math. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now. So I'm going to close this window and what I want to do is come over here to my crop tool and you'll notice here that when I open up the crop tool it has the dimensions of the image right here and it's telling us that the width is 1333 and the height is 2000 pixels. What I want to do is I want to change this proportion. Remember we're working with the crop tool so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to tell the crop tool hey instead of using the proportions that the image already has we want to use proportions that we determine and I'm going to type in 1920 and then a colon and then 900. Now once I get that typed in there uh, I need to check this fixed box here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock the aspect ratio to this proportion by clicking this box. And now what you'll see is no matter how I drag this crop tool out it's always going to be at this proportion. And if you remember this picture isn't even 1920 pixels wide but that doesn't matter. If I just drag out a crop area even though the pix even though the the photo is not 1920 pixels wide it's still gonna crop it in the right proportions. So if I click this to go ahead and crop it and then I come over here and right click the layer and click flatten image you'll see that we have the proper proportions now however the image is still not 1920 by 900. It's 1333 by 625. However, if I was to just scale this up and I leave this aspect ratio locked here, if I change this to 1920, watch this 625. It's going to go up to 900. And then when I scale it, we now have an image that's the proper size. And we didn't have to do any math. All we had to do was tell GIMP use this aspect ratio and then when we cropped it and then resized it uh, it is the right proportion. Now because we went from a 1333 up to a 1920 uh, this image isn't as crisp as it was when it was at the lower or uh, at the smaller size. However there is a trick to sharpening images to get them looking a little crisper and I won't go into showing you how to do that here because I already have a video on how to do that on this channel so you might check that out I'll put uh, the I'll put the link at the end of this video so that you can get to that one in case the image that you're using needs to be sharpened but now all I would have to do is export this image if I just did file and then clicked export as and then saved it as a JPEG or a PNG or whatever I wanted uh, I could save this image and then use it in my design so uh, that's how you crop an image with fixed proportions, a locked aspect ratio, uh, using GIMP. Uh, I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.